Good evening, Oliver. Well, I think that football is perhaps one of the most conservative uh, sport discipline um, across the globe. Um, other sports have been progressive and has been proactive and innovative um, when it comes to their approach to uh, concussion recognition and concussion uh, assessment on and off the field. And unfortunately, uh, football is a little bit behind, for sure. And uh, at FIFPO, we have been pushing since uh, 2013 already to uh, implement some additional measures, uh, among which concussion, temporary and permanent substitution. But uh, yeah, at present time, there is uh, nothing uh, done. It will be planned next year. Uh, but obviously, we would have preferred to have uh, any measure implemented yesterday rather than tomorrow. A study that was carried out last year showed that professional footballers are three and a half times more likely to get dementia than the average person. There's obviously that health risk, but what else are the health risks that can be seen with concussion? Well, concussion is uh, associated with uh, short-term and long-term health consequences. On the, on the short term, obviously, you have the regular symptoms uh, associated with concussion that can be physical symptoms, uh, headache, for instance, it can be uh, cognitive symptoms, uh, memory loss, for instance, but it can be also some uh, balance disturbance and sleep disturbance. And we also know that concuss players have a higher risk for subsequent musculoskeletal injury in the next one or two season. And uh, this player we are concussed and perhaps not uh, appropriately managed, have uh, also some problem to uh, maintain a high level of performance. On the long term, there is some indication that a uh, concussed player might have a higher risk to suffer from neurological disease. However, a uh, causal relationship at present time has not been established yet. So you're saying that your organization's been calling for changes since 2013. What is the holdup? Again, uh, the decision makers, uh, some stakeholders within professional football who uh, tend to be uh, reluctant to, to change and to move forward and to uh, trial uh, one, two or three options in order to, uh, to make things perhaps better. Uh, at FIFPRO, we are very proactive uh, with that regard. We look at other sports and how they evolve on such a concussion debate. And uh, we fairly do not understand why at present time there is nothing uh, done. Uh, you know, the, the, the body who is responsible of the uh, law of the game in football is IFAB, International uh, Federation Association Board. And uh, they are going to try a permanent concussion substitution by next year. However, uh, I'm a little bit afraid that this uh, permanent concussion substitution will not solve our football problem uh, with regard to concussion. Namely, uh, I'm afraid that the medical team will not be provided with sufficient time, with a proper environment to assess mm. a player on and off the field. We would prefer to see a trial um, related to a temporary concussion substitution, as we see in rugby union.